All right, we are here with Washington State women's basketball head coach Cami Etheridge. Coach, your team suffered a 69-65 loss to number eight Oregon. Really hard fought game. You guys were in it every single step of the way. Even had a chance to win it there late with a three pointer in the corner. Just talk about your team's overall performance, and then we'll open the floor to questions. Uh, you know, obviously really excited about our team and, and excited about this performance and, and proud of, of how hard we competed and, and how well we played. Um, you know, and then on the other hand, just disappointed that we couldn't pull it off. And uh, but love the fact that we had a chance to win the game with the shot, at, you know, late in the, in the clock and and overall, you know, I, I just think this is it's we're we're showing ourselves to be not just a, a fluke team. I think we really are solid in a lot of areas of the game and obviously to compete toe to toe with Oregon uh, kind of proves that. And I, I think that 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 makes us really excited about, you know, coming back and, and having a, a, a great season and competing well the rest of the season. Jim Allen, spokesman review. Go ahead. Uh, congratulations, Cam Cammy, on on a on a great weekend for for Cougar women's basketball. Um, I think you you do you, you kind of look at it as as the two games together with uh, beating Oregon State and coming so close. Well, I mean, talk about the big picture of of this kind of a weekend and what it means for the program. Yeah, that's a that's a great great question. Um, uh, and I talked a little bit about that with our team today. Um, you know, we our first game of the season was delayed. We go to UW and play pretty much 20 minutes of good basketball. We come back and play Idaho and we play 20 minutes of good basketball. Uh, we probably played about 30 minutes of good basketball against Oregon State and pulled out a win. And, uh, and tonight I was just unbelievably pleased with our progress and just managing the game, 40 minutes worth of, of a really hard fought basketball we managed it really well. And so I think that just shows that this team is getting better, uh, competing better, managing the game better. And um, if we can continue to do that as we figure some things out offensively, you know, I think we can really uh, put ourselves in position to compete well with, with kind of anyone. So uh, I'm really proud of that. I think this is a statement game in the sense of, you know, again, we, if we'd played 30 minutes of good basketball, we would have been down 15 against this team. So uh, I, I'm really proud of the fact that we really put together, you know, a pretty solid 40 minute game uh, against a top team in the country. Uh, Cammy, I think a lot of folks were probably skeptical uh, coming into this year after the the two players you lost and, and, and more than that. Uh, what's, what's the change uh, chemistry wise with this team? I know you talked about it before the season. And I think uh, now people, I think are, are believing what you said. <laughs> Well, I would tell you that I'm a big believer in, um, I think it takes a little bit of time to get your culture right. And uh, I'm a big believer that I think you can grow leadership and you can grow toughness. And I think um, third year in our gym, uh, we're a lot further along in those two areas. And then I would uh, just tell you that we, we've recruited, you know, tough kids and, and maybe a little bit every year, we've probably gotten a little bit better athletic basketball player. So our, our kids that are in the gym get better, but the, we're kind of recruiting a little bit better player. Uh, and so our talent level and we're built better. Um, and then lastly, which is not lastly, I would just tell you, you know, adding the two ledger walkers, you know, their toughness, their physicality, um, no one really knew and no one really believed that they were Pac-12 bodies and had that athleticism and the power and the strength and then the skill set to really, you know, play at this level. But I think uh, having two players that just play the game so physical like that and can still has the skill set to be, you know, put make other people better on the floor. That's a big addition to our program. And um, and and they're great. You know, our, our chemistry, like you said, is is off the charts. We've really got a great team, uh, one through 13 of, of players that are there for each other and and we'll compete hard for one another. Colton Clark, Lewis and Tribune. Hey, Cammy, kind of going off that, uh, competing like they are right now, uh, you know, I know you're turning a lot of heads, but 
is this kind of competitiveness this early with a relatively new look team, you know, ahead of even maybe where you expected it to be, you know, this early in the season? Yes, maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, you know, honestly, we've been practicing for three months and, and we've gotten these kids in the gym and, and the uh, older players a year older and dealing with all this COVID. I'm not sure I knew how good, um, um, I, I did not think we were very good defensively. I mean, in, in practice, we score on each other quite easily. And I, I kept telling the team we're the worst defensive team in the country because we would score on each other. So I'm, we still haven't caught up. Our offense hasn't caught up to our defense, but I think that's the big statement that I'm not sure. I understood that we would be this good defensively. And um, and I definitely did not think Charlize Ledger Walker was gonna be as good defensively as she is. And I don't know if you can even tell all the plays that she makes, but she's clearly on the floor every minute of the game, not just for her offensive scoring abilities, but the fact that she can guard any position on the floor. Uh, and then, and then her her sister Crystal is just dominating, you know, point guard play defensively, and disrupting people that that have had have been very good at entering offense and getting their teams into offense. She's just disrupted them completely. So, and and then you mix in that with the other talent and the physicality that we have with Ula and and Yo on the wings, uh, and our and our bigs are coming along. And the depth that we have in all those positions, I, I just feel like defensively, it's the, it's that's the biggest step step that we've made, and I didn't know that that would happen. But uh, I think that's why we're we're going to have some success. Is that the, our defensive is it's going to get it's going to keep us in games. And uh, this this is another example of we really disrupted a great offensive team and and had a chance to win at the end. And having Clark come off the bench and give you double figures there, uh, I guess does that just speak to the options you have like you'd said in the preseason I guess it kind of exemplifies being hard to guard when somebody can show out off the bench out of nowhere kind of yeah just wait Jessica you know she's been out about six weeks with a you know a, a foot thing and um, but she's a really talented offensive player and I think she can play I, I hope that at some point she's going to be able to sub Ula some so that Ula doesn't have to take all the minutes at the four spot um, so she can play with uh, a Bella or an Emma as the four player, uh, but she is really a gifted offensive scoring uh, player, and I think has a touch from the perimeter that gives us a you know six three player that can stretch the defense and and give. And again, I think that's where we're a little bit weak and, and not quite as deep as we'd like to be in the post game. And so. Um, as she as she gets a little healthier and in shape and knows offense a little bit better, I think she's going to really add a great dimension. Already is. Obviously, I, I have a lot of faith in her. If I'm putting her in the game and playing her the significant minutes that I'm playing her. Daniel Shore, Daily Evergreen. Coach, just one thing. Walk me through that final minute, if you will. Well, I mean, obviously, when when they missed the free throw and it only put us down down um, two, it wasn't necessary that we took the three, but gosh, I, I, I was really happy with the shot that we got. I mean, you know, you're rolling the dice if you just go for two and, and you know, try to play them in overtime and, and continue to try to, to beat that giant, the giant and the monsters that they are. So I love the ball in Charlize's hands. I mean, obviously we didn't get exactly what we wanted on the sideline out of bounds play. But again, we had the ball in our, maybe our best decision makers hands. And um, she got, she drew two and 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 we, we get Ula the shot that I think we would want that for anybody. If we can get a wide open three for anybody on our team, that's, that's a shot to win the game maybe, or at least to go up one in the last few seconds against Oregon. I think that's a, that's a great unselfish play by Charlize that she made that play. It's a lot of trust that we put in uh, in, in on Ula and in Ula. And, you know, I trust that she'll make it the next time she gets it. But I love the fact that, that you know, maybe I haven't seen it. I don't know if Charlize could have drawn a contact and, and finished or, or had a chance to finish it. But it, in my view, I thought it was a, why wouldn't you give it to someone that's standing there in a, in a wide open spot and, and not guarded and maybe, maybe have a chance to win the game. So love the shot. 
love the unselfish play by Charlize. And um, I'll take that shot any day of the week. Jim Allen, Spokesman Review. Uh, yes, uh, just uh, going ahead, what do, you, what do you take from this in terms of, of, of what is always a rugged Pac-12 conference schedule? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think the big thing is, is um, you know, we're going to have to grow a little bit and, and defend um, defend their, their post play. I, I thought they really kind of changed what they were going to and, and hurt us a little bit in the, in the post. And I think our young players have to keep getting better defensively in the post. So there's a lot of things that we can work on defensively. Obviously, we did not want to give up the threes that we gave up. We certainly didn't want Bowley to get the three. So you know, staying true to the scout is something that this young team's going to have to do just a tiny bit better. But I think what we take with this is that, you know, if we give this kind of effort and uh, rebound and and uh, uh, play with this kind of competitive nature, excellence, I mean, I mean, talk about just some tough kids going out and, and uh, playing toe to toe with a lot of you know, potential all Americans. I mean, it's, it bodes well for our program. I've got, we've got a lot of tough kids in our, in our gym. And, and I think we have a, a ceiling that can make us a lot better. I think we can get better on the offensive end. And ultimately we got to score more than 65 points against these top teams. So we're going to work really hard at, at trying to put our players in a little bit better position and, and score the ball. But I couldn't be happier with where we are and how we've competed and you know, and we look forward to the challenges of the Pac-12. So we'll 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 be ready when it's time when we get back from Christmas break. Thank you. Any more, any more questions for Coach? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for participating, Coach. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Good luck and go Cougs. Go Cougs. Thanks.